Oh, this is a first. I just had to leave Ashley at school. Like, totally upset. I've never had to do that before. I know it's like for the best. I just. I have to hold all my emotions in when she's going through her emotions. didn't calm down after I got her into her counselor. So he agreed that I needed to leave. I wish Jason was home. I went skiing and I feel bad like even like telling him that this happened because I don't want to ruin his morning. He's probably only been skiing for half hour to an hour. <sighs> this is our third time in a week with her not wanting to go to school. Second time bringing her to school. Second time meeting with the counselor in one week. And I know that it'll get better. I know that her medication will like get adjusted and it'll work. We had to miss her therapy last week because the doctor was sick and I reshuffled everything just now to make sure that we can do therapy this week. Like I, I shuffled my obligations and I'm not doing them so that I can make sure that we have our therapy this week. I know I'm doing everything I need to, but I've just never had to leave a kid at school crying. Like, not even kindergartners. I've never had to do that. I've always had good kids, like, not that she's not a good kid, I've just never had kids upset about going to school. And I know it's not her being upset about going to school, it's her anxiety that doesn't want to be here. Part of me is sitting here in the car because I don't want to go away from the school. I want to know that, like, she's okay. We agreed that I would, that they could call me if it didn't work. I would come back and get her, but I need to give that, like, way more time than this. It's only been three minutes since I left. So, she was clinging to me, begging me not to go, and the therapist, or the, the counselor didn't really even want me to go into the room to begin with, um, but Ashley hasn't done that with me yet. She hasn't, like, gone into the school upset and just gone straight to the counselor without me before. I worry because I just got an alert. Chelsea has an appointment tomorrow with our her our pedi pediatrician, and I can't be doing all this again tomorrow morning. I would I would have missed her appointment. I don't feel like I can go home. I don't I don't feel like I can start my day until I, until I know she's okay. I'm supposed to be working out right now and I know it's not something I need to worry about. I just wanted to get it done before Jason got home. but I just don't feel like I can do anything until I know she's okay. I kind of hope that the counselor will call me either way. I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should just 
I would call my mom in a moment like this. <laughs> Maybe I'll call my dad. I just need to like, I, part of why I wanted to pull that camera out is just to be able to talk through the emotions because I can't show her the emotions. So it helps for me to be able to share it with you guys. Yes, my um, daughter has a virtual appointment with Dr. Next Thursday, or I don't know if my, anyway, I just was wondering if there's any way I could move that appointment up to sometime this week. Um, I can look to see if she has something good or what. All right, well, it's probably been, I don't even know how long. Um, didn't end up calling my my dad. I called my twin sister because I saw that she was home on a virtual teaching day because <laughs> they just got pummeled with more snow. And I was like, you know what? If my sister's home and working from home, I'm going to take that chance and talk to her. So I cried it out with her. She kind of talked me down off the ledge and then, you know, she recommended I you know, call the doctor's office. I have a virtual appointment for Ashley with her pediatrician to um, check in with the meds and the dose and whatnot, but I don't have that appointment until next Thursday. And so I called to try and see if I could get that virtual appointment sooner um, to be able to talk to her doctor and I can't. So I actually have an appointment for Chelsea with the same doctor tomorrow. I'm just gonna briefly ask her, should I be concerned? Do we need to do anything before we talk on Thursday? Cause she's definitely like the doctor that like you don't co mingle um, kid appointments. Like I can schedule two appointments at one time, but since I don't have one scheduled with Ashley right tomorrow, then I it's like she's off limits from the conversation. And I, I get it. It's all about charting and you know marking the appointment for insurance purposes and whatnot. But um, I just will ask her like point blank: Do I need to be concerned? Um, what do we do? Because she might actually just say, let's just do different meds. And she might be able to like tell me right away or let's talk about it next Thursday. But then, um, here I'll pull over one more time really quick. I forgot about this part. So then I was, I am still sitting in the parking lot at the school and I was like, well, I don't know what to do. Like I haven't heard from the school, but like, I don't know if she's still sitting in there crying. And so I was just, trying to occupy my time trying to figure out what to do and I was checking my email and I got an email from the therapist or from the I keep calling her therapist from the counselor in the school and she's like thank you for leaving <laughs> I know it's hard um, but it did help Ashley calmed down right away after you left and then she sat with her and did fidgets and distracted her and had conversations with her got her calmed down and in a good mood and then was able to take her to class and she told Ashley that if she needs to come back to the counselor's room or even call me um, later on in the day that they will and that they'll um, reach out to me um, so I'm gonna be glued to that text or the emails I don't know why she didn't I think she just didn't want to like I don't know why I think they had to document it maybe that's why she didn't call me but um so now I feel like I can leave and she's in class and she's happy, but I can guarantee you she's, she's not going to be happy with me tonight when she gets home from school, which is fine. It's fair, but I also need to call Jason and tell him that this was hard and not having him here. It's not his fault. He didn't know. It's just, this is like the third time in a week. All right. I drank my sadness for breakfast. <laughs> And we're at Target. I have a prescription to pick up. Abby informed me that our baggies are in low supply and I wanna get some other ones for our trip. Um, I think we're gonna use a lot of baggies this time. I took Tupperwares last time and it, they just got in the way and then we had to clean them and I'm just gonna play the easy route and get baggies. <laughs> so, I, and then I also needed one other thing and now I can't remember. So hopefully I remember. 
I'm trying really hard to not shop through my emotions. I'm trying to stick to a plan. But I got um, my box of tissues, or of baggies, I mean. I've been looking for this uh, cleaner for Abby. I finally just chose that one. I can't find the actual one she wants. And then I got Uno Flip to take with us and also for game night. Um, I think it'll be fun to play a game and just relax down by the pool or to take it with us when we're waiting for a table or waiting for food. It keeps the conversation going with the family, we've learned. So I think that'll be kind of fun and easy to pack and take with us. I'm trying to find a water bottle for Ashley. She wants one for her birthday and all the ones that we have for her are broken. I like the idea of having a handle on it, but I also can't stand to have like the straw inside it because that's what's wrong with her current one is the straw portion of it broke and now the bottle is like useless. So like I don't want it to have an inner straw. Just drink it. Put a straw in it from home if you need to. But I'm gonna go like in one more set. The athletic section has more water bottles. So I'm gonna go look in there. Okay, just got back from Costco. Not really in the mood to film too much more today. Um, finally got garlic chicken. I am so excited for this for dinner tonight for Abby. She has a meeting at work and then I think she's gonna really wanna have that for dinner. But what I wanted to show you is that I finally have a mat for our front porch. It's just one of these kitchen ones. But our front porch mat, I'll show you, it's just, I hate it. It's so uncomfortable on your feet. But this one I can actually wash off with the hose um, if it gets dirty. And it's comfortable to stand on when I'm like talking to people at the front door. You can barely even see it in the car. But other than that, pretty basic stuff. Okay, here's the mat. Okay, this is the one I have there right now and it's super uncomfortable and super small. So we're gonna move that possibly to the backyard or right there for now so I don't have to deal with it. And then this guy, We'll do some spring cleaning out here another day. But that, oh, so much more comfortable. It's not gonna get rained on, it's just here in the porch. And if it gets dirty, I can just wash it off. Fantastic. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. I don't want the camera out um, throughout the rest of the evening. Partially just because I'm just trying to recoup for the day and I've already talked to Jason about everything that happened and kind of have come up with plans for the future to help me and to make sure he's home more on the days he has off, even if he wants to go skiing. So I just don't want the camera out when Ashley gets home because I don't want her to feel like I'm gonna pull it out and make her talk about it. And I wanna leave myself enough time and space to be able to talk to her about everything that happened in her own time without having to worry about um, having this out and ending it with you or being in a worse mood, <laughs> depending on how that goes. Um, I appreciate everyone being here for us on this journey. I hope you appreciate, I mean, I think you all respect our privacy as I don't completely divulge everything, but I appreciate that I have a venue to um, release my emotions and I know you guys support me and allow me to like vent. And I think all mothers need to have that um, in their life, whether it's just one person or like me, I get to <laughs> do it with hundreds of people. Um, so just thank you for your support and we're gonna take the rest of the evening to ourselves and we'll see you guys next time. Good night. Easy.